<laughs> hey there. Yeah. yeah, and we made it. And I have Aggie here. Wonderful. Hi, Aggie. And we have hey, Nicola and, and we have, and, and is your little furry friend with us today, Nicola? Um, she, she's uh, sleeping. <laughs> yeah. I've got to get my coffee she's here. She's with us, but we're on the couch. So. Okay. Okay. Well, ladies, I'm so grateful to see you here. And I was thinking, you know, what would be a great place to start for us? And I think for me, it's a, it's a continual reminder to be grateful and to reflect on what we're noticing different. Of course, that seems to be my mantra, right, Nicola? Yes. So I'd like to start with just considering, you know, I like to hear God stories or things that we might say are synchronistic or catch our attention or little signs. Um, momentum perhaps or messages that we receive um so all of those things are indicators that spirit is is with us and i thought of you yesterday morning nicola on my walk because i was coming back to the car and right on the sidewalk there was a black feather right in the middle of the sidewalk yeah. and i'm like and i and i and i i kept going and i was like okay feathers are a dime a dozen for me but then I thought no I'm gonna go back and pick it up and so I went back and I picked it up it was a single you know it was about this long five inches six inches and um I I still left it in my car and it's black so my interior of my car is black so I kind of lost it right now but it's in the car and you know, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, spirit is continually reminding us, tapping us on the shoulder, you know, for us to stay present, to stay grounded in the moment and be aware and to not dismiss these little signs. Yeah, so yeah. do you guys have anything that's popping up that you'd like to share on what's different or a God story that you experienced this week? Well, uh, I, I did write in the, um, Facebook that um, for whatever reason I was dreaming something I can't remember exactly what that I kept saying come Holy Spirit come and then I woke up and as I was waking up it, I was actually saying it wow so it feels like I'm being prompted to have more um uh, more sacred time with myself not just doing the meditations but actually sitting and being still and just allowing the messages to come that's awesome awareness because i think it's so true we can get busy you know straightening the covers on our sofa and going to get <laughs> and going to get something else in the kitchen i found exactly. myself I found myself cleaning off the stovetop that I had cleaned up last night, but I found myself wiping it down again, this time a little better. And when I was in that motion, I thought to myself, how do we use distraction and busyness to take us out of being present and from doing the thing that you just said? Because we are avoiding something that would be good for us it's, it's a mental, you know, constant need to jump and move and do things. And, and we all do it because we're resisting the one thing that we need to do. And so how did you get yourself? Ha have you taken the step to giving yourself more time to be quiet and contemplative? Yes, um, but not, I would say yes. <laughs> so um, I uh, also... I have a very long drive to my job. And in that um, time, I get feelings of, um, well, I've got to hurry and get to the next place and stuff like that. And then I have, then I come back to myself and I start appreciating the beauty of the trees and the sky and all of that. So it's just, um, 
I, it's a different set for me. I've had, I've had a lot of problems in the last year, um, physical particularly, and um, I'm just learning to appreciate every moment that I have. And then one of the things that came out of my mouth was when I was driving was, this is fun. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> you know, and, and I, I really applaud that. Now, you mentioned, I think, some time ago that on your long drive, you're listening to inspirational videos or, or audios or podcasts oh, yeah. or something. Are you still doing that? Yes. Okay, so, you know, it, it, I've, I've experienced it myself sometimes where I just shut everything off. And although it's great, there's moments in time where we need to plug into something to keep us, keep our vibration high. There's also times where, like you said, you need to just stop and look at the flowers. I've, I've, been, doing that. I've been doing both. So Okay. I'm, so it's interesting, isn't it? How we start interspersing and, and creating a balance for ourselves in, in other ways, instead exactly. of keeping that mind so just that monkey mind just races. I still have challenges with my monkey mind, but I'm getting better at it. Right. You know, I've I've been distracted lately with looking at all these different programs and things. People are doing amazing work. And then I heard this voice, Amira, just pull back. What do you do best? What is yes. your focus? I'm getting that. What is it that you have to offer the world? And so it's easy. It's so easy for us to get yanked out and go, yeah, what a good idea. Let me do that. Or, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Let me do that. And um, so, yeah, it, it can, I think it comes back to discipline. Being the adult in the room for ourselves and going, okay, come on over here, kids. <laughs> it's our little kid mind, right? That wants to go play and do something else more fun. And it takes us off purpose. And what does it do energetically? It's literally putting little holes in our balloon and deflating the whole momentum of our ability to focus and have the intention. Yeah. Congratulations. That's awesome progress. Yeah. How are you feeling different overall? Different. Um, <clears throat> overall, uh, I, I could I could say I'm just less worried, and um, even <laughs> I, I will, will tell you this. On uh, Monday, when I went to pay my mortgage, I um, online. Uh, I noticed that my bank account was extremely low and my checks hadn't come in yet. So I started to get this flutter here, like, oh my God. And uh, as I settled down, I heard the name, I heard the words, it will be there tomorrow. Because it was very late. It was over a week late. It will be there tomorrow. So I went up, I couldn't check my balance in the morning, I had to wait <coughs> all, <coughs> all day. And so I just went about my business saying, it, it's handled, it, my, my guides told me it's been there, it's gonna be there. And sure enough, it was when I got home. <laughs> so, so that's fantastic, because in the past, you probably <coughs> would have freaked out all day, right? And yeah. panicked and, and, and I don't know, turned yourself inside out and... <laughs> I know I've done that too. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting how, how we um, revert to old patterns so quickly and easily. But congratulations for redirecting the the wreck, <laughs> the train wreck. And it's really strange too that I'm starting to mix up the um, the replays. Um, in other words, I would be doing uh, replay number one. And number two would come in and be part of it. <laughs> so, no, no, that's, and then we would take, you would take a breath or some time. And that other, then I would anticipate, but I would come in with the other meditation, the other blending. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, you know, I often say in my training is that there's no absolutes, right? There's no absolute way to do it. And as we progress in, in our development, it's almost like my students will take the tools and create new versions of the tools. 
So what works for you best? I mean, I, there, there is no answer exact, you know, we like to think there is, but it's not. Organized chaos, I guess that's the universe we live in, right? We'd like it to be orderly, but it's not exactly so. Uh, entropy is a natural order of things. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Well, great. Well, thanks so much for sharing that. Guys, we're um, Marie Pierre, welcome. I just want to say, hey, we're, we're chatting about what we're grateful for and what we're noticing different in our practice or in ourself as a result of doing the practice. So I'm going to invite you to think about that and, um, and share whatever you'd like. We started talking about God stories. So Hey, uh, Karen, do you have any God stories or, or ahas that you want to share with us this week? Well, I want to just, can I get feedback real quick on what was just discussed? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. So Nicolette, when you were talking about trying to find time, I actually, uh, was doing what you said, Amira. I not only was trying to absorb in a very busy uh, little pattern of my life right now, but it's getting more settled because I have the new dog. I actually, you know, was going, oh, this idea looks really good. I want to just pull some gold nuggets. I'll try to just do that little webinar. And um, at the same time, you start to, like you said, you might be uh, diluting your sole purpose, your sole purpose. Um, and thinking, oh, I don't want to miss and what out. What do on you this. really want? Yes. What do right. you really want? What's the first right. thing? What's the priority? Yeah. Right. And so finding those gold nuggets. So Nicola, what I did is I said, I'm taking a staycation for two weeks. And it is my time to say, okay, like you said, the discipline. So yes, I will meditate in the morning because I wake up really early. And so I will meditate there and I am laying down. I rarely fall asleep though. I can usually do my little morning meditations and love prayers as I call them. I also use some of the tools that you gave me, Amir, which I'm so thankful for. And I'll go over and I'll do it a little bit at night. And I do try to do it in the day as well, because as we know, most of the time you're supposed to be sitting upright. That is the suggestion posture. So that tube can go from the bottom of your spine down. But I just, I just rotate. Well, it has it's a little, <laughs> sorry to interrupt. It has a no, little no. bit more to that. It has to do with memory, muscle memory. Like when okay. you go to your bed, the body's already programmed. There's a set energy to go mm -hmm. to sleep. That's why our bedrooms, we go in there and we start relaxing. It's typical. And that's why experts say to turn off your, your devices, et cetera, quiet the mind. Reading is maybe something better if a person's having a trouble sleep. But all the lights and the electronics, and those keep the brain stimulated. So, but when we lay down, the body is programmed to fall asleep. When I'm working with clients one-on-one, -on -one, if they're... Um, like when I'm doing the actual healing, I ask them to lay down completely. And if you've ever had that experience with me, you'll notice when you're propped up versus when you're laying down, it's very different. Mm -hmm. So you will go to sleep. Now, there are some meditations that really encourage you kind of to just l go off into the cosmos, you know, that's not the goal of these practices. These practices are to clear that buzz, that fuzz, that static in our energy field so that we can focus. So it's a tool, a technique. It's kind of like the Windex of your energy field. You can't do the Windex when it's raining. Right? It's counterproductive or you can't do, you know, I mean, some people clean their shower when they're in the shower, you know, but you can't sleep when you're showering. You can't clear it effectively. You will go to sleep. And what's happening is you're going into the unconscious and you're leaving your body. So this practice is about being present because the power behind our manifesting comes back to being able to be present. The more right. we can be present without thinking about anything else, boom, 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 you will manifest. Stuff will just show up and you'll go, oh my gosh, I, I, I didn't even think about that for like five years. And now all of a sudden it's here. And how did that happen? It's because you let go and there were some unconscious energies derailing you, you know, keeping you from that connection of that one thing that's already in the field of manifestation. You just haven't aligned with it. Does that make sense? 
It absolutely does. So um, at night, it is usually where I will go to sleep and have a peaceful sleep. My biggest uh, meditation time is in the morning. And that's when I get my ahas or my thought for the day. It kind of sets me up for the day. And then at other times I'll do, and I love your little tool with the chakra cleansing. Cause I had done one, uh, you know, I do do a chakra cleansing exercise, but I love yours, how you go in there and scrub it. And I, so I really love that tool. I'll use that tool if I'm not quite getting to where I want with the other one. And also I love the one where you actually, um, so the chakra cleansing I like, but also the one I think is so powerful to like, you just said it so well, of course, you have to be ready to receive it. You have to be clear to receive it. So health, if you, I love your dial, like, where do you feel right now? And just be honest, hey, universe, this is where I'm feeling right now. But then you say, now let's turn it all the way up to 10 or to perfect, because we have to be able to receive. What are we holding on to? What are we holding on to that we're not allowing the perfect health to come in? I love well, that. You could, you could say you're not feeling at a certain level, but what else is going on beyond the feelings? When you start to really understand you have an emotional body, you have a mental body, you have a astral body, and then you have your physical body. But most of us just focus on the physical, but it's those other aspects to us that are unconsciously, unknowingly creating all the, the crap in our life. And so that's why we're actually in these, these tools are very, they're advanced tools. Okay. And so I get not everybody's ready for them and that's okay. But when you apply them, you'll be amazed. Mm -hmm. So again, Karen, it's just a little bit stretched beyond your feelings. So trying not to be judgmental on, oh, it's at 80% because we've got a feeling on it, or it's a judgment, like I'm not worthy, or how come, or I can't get it to 100, or what a loser I am, or God knows what's going on in our heads, right? Mm -hmm. I just said it earlier, why is it back here? What in the hell is wrong? <laughs> I'm doing it wrong, I can't be doing it right, you know, it's not working, whatever those, those, those silly little repeat um, nuggets we tell or that are there for us. Yeah. Those are all those, just that, oh, I just reset it. That is an energy of resistance. Just that little thought is preventing it from being more than it could be. So again, okay, it's only at 70. Hmm. All right. Let's, and I like to pretend I'm a kid when I'm doing this, like I'm in kindergarten, right? If you want to color the face green, you can color the face, whatever you want, right? It's not a big deal. And so it's just that, just play with it, have fun with it. You know, some that's, of us, that's why I like it. I like it so much because I don't do all that judgmental stuff. You said I'm kind of beyond that, but let's say that, you know, my back hurts and I have it completely gone. And then later it might come again, but I don't think, oh, I, I might've just moved a different way, but I think it is such a powerful tool. And I really appreciate that. I'm very good. grateful. Good. Just like your energy cleansing, just like your, um, your meditation, the stress buster that you've used so effectively for people for so many years is so beneficial. And I think, um, uh, you know, uh, I have been working on the energy cleansing for a while, as you know, I went through a period of being really tired and kind of worn out. And now it is so close. Um, so yes, I've had some really great aha moments. So thank you. So what was your biggest aha moment that you've had recently? So I think the health thing was really great. I do think that uh, cleansing that energy and also um, I'm so close to recognizing, like you said, you're, you're trying different, you know, you might try different things. You said you get distracted, but once you get the little nugget, like I might listen to something like Nicola was saying she's doing, but the moment I get that gold nugget, aha, I often don't listen any further because I'm like, okay, that was it, right. me. Now let me let my imagination yes. go. Let me start to visualize what envision what I have. And right. it's also about building up your confidence too. Yes. Like you were saying, oh, that sounds so good, but a mirror, what you do, like you said, you're reminding yourself, yeah, but look what I do. And having, and, and you don't need the confidence, but we're talking about people like me well, are still I building think, up the confidence. But honey, it's, <laughs> Well, I appreciate that because I'll tell you what, I'm still building confidence. After all these years, there's continual, it's just a journey. It, there's not a switch, it's on. There's days where I am just feeling like a total loser. 
I don't really be <laughs> honest with you. And people look at me and they go, what? And I've had friends go, oh, stop it. You know, where is that thought coming from? That is just crazy talk. And yes, it is. And yes, it is an energy that's not a mirror. So I'm at the level where I can discern. And I've seen it so many times with you and you and you that it go, okay, when you're in it yourself, you don't know it's attacking you. So call it the devil, call it the jinn, call it a being, call it a stinky thought that you had from when you were a kid. Okay. <laughs> my father used to tell me I was fat. So my sister used to call me fat. So, you know, I had a little sister that was so petite. She was like a, you know, I don't know, today she might be 90 pounds wet. You know, oh. I, I am. I was always more bigger boned, but not fat. So at 16, there wasn't any fat on my body. I just had a nice little shape. I was called fat. So, so that pattern, you know, deeply got into my emotional body as a, you know, teenager and you're reformatting or trying to discern or understand who you are. I had that picture implanted and bashed into me. So, you know, it's one of those things, I don't let it rule me anymore. And I'm aware of it. It, it is, it, it will flash in front of my face before I know it. And so we're all dealing with some aspect that is not true. It's a lie. And that we are continually building confidence, continually eroding that message that was drim drilled and drimmed, drummed into us. So, hey, I'm on the path with you, Karen. I am I am continually being reminded. I, I guess, you know, I love the concept I heard of, uh, like you just said, we are constantly expanding. We are constantly growing. We want to continue. And it's to infinity. <laughs> it's like, you know, who can only imagine after this life, um, of, as the spirit continues to expand, there won't be a place where you get to go, oh, this is it. No, because life is going to continue to throw us challenges. Yeah. <laughs> to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're still earning our wings. You know, we are, you know, in this, uh, the star system of earning stars on our stars and stripes. And uh, yeah, I think the whole goal of my whole intention with this is I noticed people were struggling. And let's get out of the struggle. How can we get out of our struggle and to really, you know, be in alignment with the amazingness that we are, the awesomeness and manifest and it is easy when we get out of our own way <laughs> you know and that's the biggest hurdle that we have is getting out of our own way yeah so thanks so much for sharing that I appreciate that you're practicing and you're applying it and you're seeing the shift yeah you what is the biggest shift one if you could say in one sentence what was the biggest shift you're noticing in your behavior I, I think the uh, the release and, and as, as well as being able to release so that I can see the vision so that the dust can settle. I've released a lot of just everything and everyone in the past of just, you know, recognizing, okay, you may have done this, but you know what, we're all part of the soup and I may not condone or like it, but that's just you and your journey. And I have released just about everything I can even imagine, you know, things that I didn't even you know, think about, and also to go spiritually to say to uh, those people, hey, I hope I uh, didn't in any way make you feel bad, right, and just kind of releasing it and being in, in oneness and love and feeling that love, and then so that I can now just hone in on what I'm doing. <laughs> I love it. That was a little bit more than one sentence, but that was amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. It's a release, the release, <laughs> the release and crystallization. That's fantastic. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's, I'm, 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 some people might go, why did she just do that? Well, I interrupted your pattern, Karen, because mm -hmm. your challenge is to focus on what you want mm -hmm. and stick with that and keep it simple. And I mean, it's, a, it's an exercise for all of us. Okay. We, we can, we don't need a story. I mean, the stories we all relate to, which is fantastic. Right. But in the world of manifesting, we've got to move off the story you know and you reminded me I had somebody over the past few months that was offended with something I said and um 
I apologized for her perception of it and tried to explain the situation. And she didn't respond to my apology. And so I let some time go by and I kept clearing my energy on it. Look, I will take responsibility if I offended you or I did something that triggered something within you, but I can't fix her feelings. I can't be responsible and or feel guilty that I didn't do my part, right? So that energy on it, I pulled my energy off it, let her have her process. And then I reached out after like three or four months and said, how are you? Da, 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 da. Well, she refused to acknowledge again. And so there again, do I want to feel guilty or have I go, no, I'm going to stand in my power. I have done my part and that's her energetic exercise to feel the victim or to be blaming or to hold on to whatever, vic you know, energy that she wants to hold on to. I can't heal that relationship any further. She's made that decision, right? So we can only do our part. So I was calling my energy off an energy tool number four, right? Giving her her energy back. So in, in, I think a lot of people are releasing toxic relationships or cleaning up situations that maybe weren't the most effective or supportive. You know, certain relationships come to an end. There's a fork in the path. They go this way, you go this way. But we can't continue blaming ourselves and beating ourselves up for not taking the appropriate action, right? I, I love person. that you brought that up because I bet with, uh, is it Amory? Amory? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and, uh, and Nicola and me, we can all think of incidences like that. I look at it, I, I'll, I'll, I'll do the same as you. I'll go, I'll open up my heart. My heart is open now. And I am here to, um, you know, to talk to you or receive you or whatever, but my heart's open. I'll still keep you my little love prayers, but right. You're on your journey. And I love the way you just said it with the energy tool, um, Amira, number four. Well, it, it, it helps us. It helps us get out of our analyzer and our feelings and our judgment, right? Because I could keep judging her and I can see the energy. I can see what's going on energy. I can see it clairvoyantly and I can see my responsibility and cleaning up mine and there again I still have to allow her that space and that process and she may heal it she may not I love it it, I, it, it will manifest in some other aspect in her life and that yeah. aspect of her feeling like a victim will continue to generate and affect her creations up to her right and so that's that's not my deal but you know I think there's somebody else dealing with letting go of people or taking their responsibility and letting go of my, I can't be the only one here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's happening a lot. And well, I'll, give a quick, I'll give a quick example. Uh, crazy drivers, young drivers with more testosterone who'll cut you off. And so recently I thought, wait, it keeps happening to me. Am I attracting it? Is, yeah. is the universe telling me you need to learn how to respond to this because I'll sit there and go, oh my gosh and so now i'll go oh yeah there you go and look at all the people who are driving so nicely exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah okay so that is just what i needed to hear okay so tell hi marie pierre how are you tell I, us tell us I'm what's going on awake. i'm barely awake okay yeah it's early for you so congratulations Honestly, I had a struggle I today waking up. I was like, I got to do this. I have to. Good. Okay. I'm glad you so pushed we had a hurricane in. right down okay. south of the peninsula of Baja. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I was so disappointed because we barely got any rain. We, we barely got any rain. And I was so disappointed. I was like, come on. I wanted to dance naked in the rain. It was so hot, hot, humid. We haven't seen rain in I don't know how long. And But then the part of the hurricane hit the east coast of the peninsula and houses got washed into the into the Sea of Cortez or just about. I was like, okay, well, maybe it's like, I'm grateful for all the rain we got. <laughs> yeah. You know, it just turned my attitude around. But what you just said about people driving by, yesterday I was thinking that why is it when I speak, people interrupt me and just and just 
cut me off and go off on something and in a in an aggressive way i was like what is wrong with them and it may be okay so there you go maybe i am inviting that so i needed to hear that so much oh, you absolutely to are i'm sorry to say you absolutely I are inviting like that <laughs> given hugs we're giving right. you hugs I so now i need to stop it i need to stop that another thing well, is okay, that okay so i'm sorry to interrupt you there but you need to stop that what are you going to stop stop people from do doing that or or not inviting people okay. to cut me off that's oh. what i'm saying okay so how would you interrupt them from cutting you off walk away okay that's one <laughs> yes, way we'll walk away I'm, going, I'm tired of this i'm going i'm tired of this can i finish my sentence you know or something like that or okay, turn it around on them or something I'm, I'm sure sorry, exactly. there's a delay here in your connection. So it might sound like I'm cutting you off, but I'm not intending to. Okay. I, I Isn't that interesting? <laughs> okay. I hope you guys are amused. Um, what is, do you, would you like to know at, at the energetic level what's going on? Oh, I'm a mess right now. I'm a mess and I'm clearing all that. So um i finally listened to some replays yesterday and i was like i'm stupid why haven't i taken that half an hour every day to do those meditations because me of all people i need it okay 10 days ago well i went to see a doctor because i got this problem with my legs still and took x-rays and there's nothing wrong with me there and i'm very healthy overall i just got this problem with this leg anyway somebody said well you might be holding anger and that's hurting it's psychosomatic you're hurting yourself right so i've started looking around me to see what can make me angry and yeah i am frustrated in many ways and um so i started to clear physical things out of my way like like my sewing room i could barely walk in there i have now five bags of trimmings and salvages in bags that I'm going to give to an artist friend that wants to do something with it. I don't care. It's got to go. So already clearing all that out is good. But I think I'm overwhelmed in my studio. And then I look around my place and I, I drove up to, to the house where Scott and I share space, right? And there's buckets here that, I mean, we look like shantytown. I feel like my place looks like shantytown. So I got to clear all that up. So I'm thinking, okay, if I start clearing just physical stuff already, a mess causes stress. So that's going to take that off. And um, yes, I need to do those meditations to be grateful for what I have instead of being unhappy with what's laying around. Exactly. Yeah. And Focus on three things. You can sit down and make a list of all the things that you got to do because I can see you're so overwhelmed, but then focus on the top three priorities, your meditation every day and um, clearing clutter might be another one. And then what work project do you have on your, on your desk? <laughs> so which one is top priority? Okay. Start with that. When you finish that, then move on to the next one. Right. right. So yeah, here I, I'm. I'm sorry to interrupt again. One great tool or technique I heard someone share is list all the things that you got to do, and then go back and list P one, the top three top three priorities, and then the top and then the top two priorities, and the top three priorities, and so that you can then track it without once the th top first three are completed, then you can move to the two. Right. Well, Does right that make sense? so it helps you to focus a little bit. My, my first focus is to make 80 coats because I'm out of inventory and that's going to take, but you 80 can't days. make 80 today. How many would yeah, you no, make? No, no, there are going to be 80 days of 80 coats. So I need, I think I'm going to finally break down. I don't like people coming in to clean my house because I need to tidy it first. So I think no, it's called control. Control. it's called control. It's called Marie Pierre. It's called control. Mm, I know. So I am going to need help. I am going to need somebody to come and clean my house. Even if it's once a month, it's something stupid, but it needs to be done. Windows, 
and I need to tidy after myself every day. And I'm going to be on Scott's back about it too. <laughs> so Marie Pierre, they, you know, a person in business, which you are an entrepreneur, a businesswoman is um, why is it stupid to get support first of all? And why is it stupid to get someone to assist with a task that's not bringing you in cash? Okay, say it again, because it just blurted out, it cut. And As a businesswoman. Why is it stupid? And so I didn't want to hear it, I guess. <laughs> I know, I know. There's sometimes we have these problems. Why is it stupid for a businesswoman who makes money, your income comes from the production of the coats. Why is it stupid to get somebody to help you with another task that doesn't bring you in money? Right. Yeah. Can I, so can, I add to that? Oh, yeah. Mary, can I add to that? So having a personal assistant, a lot of cleaners, if you find the right cleaner. So I knew women who would not get a cleaner because they felt like they had to tidy up first. But what I did, and I would tell my kids this when they were little, I say, you know, they're spending a lot of time tidying up first. But I found you just ask for it. I found two separate women. One was with me for years. I have one I very rarely use now, but they tidy things up and and you may want to tell them how to tidy up or you may not care as long as it's in you know organized piles or something so yes and and i, I basically call them little pas and then i hired students because they love the money and i would pay them 15 dollars an hour and they would come and you get those little girls who are the secretary of like the key club or different those little high school girls that really want money I tell you, teenagers are amazing what they can do. Maybe they don't clean as well, but I wanted to echo what Amira said. Your value is a much higher value than straightening up your house. Hire mm -hmm. someone to do the lower value things that you can afford. And, and even if it's a treat once a month to get that clarity and peace in your house. So, See, I, th I think women are really deficient in learning how to ask for support. No, I'm the one who refuses because Scott is ready to get somebody every week to help me. Okay, so let him get it. It's, my, it's me. It's my problem. My let own. him get it. Let him hire it to support you. So that right. might be one of your, your one incredible thing is to, is to have support. I mean, it might not be making 80 coats in 80 days because you don't have a problem doing. You have a problem right. receiving, receiving support, receiving uh, time for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are our bigger issues for you. That's affecting your health, my dear. It is. It is. And your I relationship, agree. and you feel like you can't finish a sentence. People are interrupting you, and that's because you can't receive. It's not because they're doing something wrong. You're not able to receive. You're not able to receive someone listening to you. It's completely opposite to what you're thinking. Ah. All right. Well, back to hey, the Got to do it. it. It's all about it. Just focus on the receiving and clearing so that you have space to receive. Right. It's we were just energy. Talking. You're not doing, you're not a bad girl. You're well, amazing. I know that. Yeah. Before I you got it. But I, I am, I am <laughs> hurting myself in many ways. Yes. And I am we very were... frustrated about that. And I'm very happy. Well, you know, I've been wanting to do the meditation and I'm like, okay, but then I've been with, you know, I've been losing myself in series, Netflix series where I get attached to fictional characters. And what does that bring? Nothing, you know, I mean, well, it gives or, us or playing stupid games on solitaires and connect yeah. the dots. And, and so what are we really well, doing? We're escaping. escaping. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're saying we're not important and what you want doesn't matter. And it takes discipline. It does take practice. Okay. And it takes us being committed. How in are you? I promised you guys, I would be here every single day till the 30th. And from there, we'll see what, what I'm going to do. But spirit said to me, Amira, are you committed? Are yeah, you committed? You're amazing for that because I saw the other day you were alone. I was like, oh my God, I could have chimed in. Come on. You know, well, that's even the if point. I'm just it, snoring while it's happening. Well, and each of us are motivating each other. And so we need that sometimes. God knows it's crazy shit out there. 
yeah. Right? There's one TV talking about the economy, somebody else talking about the Green New Deal, this and that, and politics, the queen dies. Everything's going upside down. So yeah, how well, do you I, make I'm, your... I'm lucky that I live in Mexico and I don't have a television, so I just what? Turn... you have Netflix. I... You're choosing that. To still well, that's on up. the internet. That's on the internet. Baby but girl, there's no I will difference. Look at, you know, there is there's no there's difference, Marie, here. There's no difference. You're telling yourself like to make it okay. It's still a distraction. You're off your off your pattern of what it, what's important to you. You're making all those other things more important to you, and they're taking they're sucking your life force, your creative energy. They're draining yeah. you, yeah, and they're I'm programming you. They're, and I should be I should be really excited about what I'm making, but I'm not. That's because you don't have the creative juice to feel you're not receiving fulfillment from it. See, it's another aspect of receiving. Right. Right, right, right. Out of alignment. Yeah. And so again, it's 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 a challenge to not judge ourselves, to just roll up our sleeves. Okay, what do I gotta do? Right. Because when you finally get to your breaking point, I don't know about you, but when my place gets cluttered, okay, stop everything do do this right and then you do that and you feel so much better yeah here <gasps> i've been picking up as i walk through the room i'm like that doesn't belong there so boom i move it you know i'll do little bits here and there but tomorrow i have three coats to finish today and tomorrow is the big cleaning day it's the big tidy day clear up energy and so go. so it might be a better approach for you to pick that one day like you're suggesting it is not to do little things here and there because that's keeping you off your target right you've got to do everything to stay on focus mm -hmm. yep and then give yourself a, a yeah, and then the water 15 water minute break it's like oh god <laughs> yeah yeah I'll no i know what it's like i know you're just spinning your wheels you're going all over yeah. crazy and maybe you're putting maybe maybe you're putting yourself too thin you know again the way you increase production is getting some somebody to pick up the pieces from the, the bottom end of the pile in other words getting the help with the mundane things that are just taking away from you so you can focus on the bigger things right and find out what what is that what's and it you are going to have to let go of your need to control as you do this it's going to be you growing into a new version of yourself Just putting on that businesswoman's hat mm -hmm. men don't do that when they set up a business men don't clean the house and do all this crap oh well, no he doesn't cook either that's right so stop it <laughs> Oh, he, does, he, does, says, he does make it. his lunch but then he leaves everything out all the food stays out all the dishes stay out when i just finish cleaning everything up so what what part of that is okay here's here's a way to approach that is um scott um are what part are you committed to supporting me right. in keeping the kitchen clean are you are you committed to sabotaging the situation or are you committed to supporting it? Yeah. Well, well, he's pretty good at leaving every dirty dish, every dirty anything in there. It's well, just... and so it's our problem when we don't tell them, I need well, I tell you... him, but then he gets all crazy on me. Well, so... it depends on how you're speaking it and connecting with him. And again, um, we get frustrated and we just go, man, why aren't you picking that up? Those damn socks are here again, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, but it doesn't, that's not effective. Yeah. So then we're not manifesting or, or fulfilling what it is that we want to create. Again, right. our communication, how we, our relationship with ourselves is the most important. And if you're missing the mark with you, all the other stuff is definitely going to be affected. Yeah, I got a lot of gripes. And then three days ago, my dog has a wart on his nose. He comes home and the wart is gone. Somebody probably thought it was a tick and pulled it off. So now he's got an open wound on his face. Okay. 
what's going on with the neighbors too you know <laughs> like, well maybe he scratched but but you know maybe i don't think he scratched it off i don't think okay. so because it's in a position that's kind of weird but anyway so i'm just like who's ah oh, all right never mind so put all that into a stick of dynamite and explode it marie pierre because it's not supporting you no it isn't you know, and there are things that we hang on to because it just festers that feeling of, rah, 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 I want to rip no, somebody's exactly. face off. Yeah, so <laughs> that I can escape my problem, right? But okay. And, so and there's a sense, there's a sense of self righteousness. I think that's part of our ego, right? Because we want to yeah. be right. We want to oh, be okay. right. And we want to have those shitty feelings sometimes. Because yeah, some, well, somehow too many of them too often. They need to uh, go. What's that? I said, there's too many of them too often. They need to go, those feelings. But you know, when you're home alone all the freaking time, it gets that way. So I've been trying to be social, trying to, I get invited to a party, I go, you know? But then Again, they start talking politics I, I, and, and then they, they're screaming at each other. I'm like, I'm like, are you talking politics over there? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> and then they stop. Well, there again, you know, but focus no. on what do you need? Do you need supportive environment? What talk? I understand we all need social, but you know, for myself too, I would go out and I'm like, wait a minute, these people aren't really feeding me. There's a sense of me that wants to plug into people, but they're not really the right, not. you know, vibe for me to, mm -hmm. to be spending my time. And so I think this is a form of socializing in one way where we can vent and talk about what's important to us or what we're trying to achieve. But I understand sometimes we just want to escape and, uh, Hey, yeah. you still have to be the one, the deciding factor. Is this supporting me? Is right. this supporting me getting more of what I want? No, it's not. No. no. So yeah. what are, Besides no rain, what else are you grateful for? Oh, um, <laughs> I have to think about it. That's pretty sad. <laughs> well, you know, it's really one of those things that if we can tune into, okay, today, like forget about the meditation and stuff. If you could just start focusing on what you're grateful for as you're oh, getting out of bed every yeah. morning that will start shifting your vibe and it will help you give you more space for you to give to you. Well, I'm grateful for my dog to come and lick my face when he sees me stir. That's really sweet. And the cat goes crazy too. Um, that that's different behavior from him. He didn't do that before. He'd just sit in front of the door wanting to go out. Whereas now he comes up to me and just puts his nose on mine which is really so sweet. sweet. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any God stories or miracles from this week? I guess miracles. maybe the miracle is you're here. <laughs> <laughs> um, miracles this week. Um, why do I have to think so hard about it? Cause I'm not awake because well, it didn't no, it's, uh, it's yeah, you're, early. you're early. You're three, two hours before me. Um, so think about prepared. it today. Think about it today. What are you grateful for? What God's I'm story? here. I'm here. I'm yeah. grateful that I'm here and I'm listening to you ladies and um, the good energy that goes with it. I love her cat. <laughs> yeah. What's her name, Nicola? It's Carly. 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 Yeah, she tells us. The roof over my head. Look at um, Carly's loving. She is. She's going, Ma Mama. You're just paying attention to that girl again. You're, you're, because she does this near the end, right? Yeah. After about animals are like children. It's like you, they ignore you completely. You're on the phone. Suddenly, they want something. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah. They want your attention. Yeah. 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 Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um. No, it's a beautiful day. I live in a beautiful place. Um, what can I say? Oh, my brother. That's great. Yes, my brother had surgery and that was a success this week. Fantastic. That was a pretty good thing. Um, my dad actually answered the phone when I called. That was amazing. 
<laughs> See, that's fantastic. So would be a goal that, what would be a goal that you'd have for yourself this week? That you could uh, to, to, to get in, to get into those meditations and okay. um, to apply myself and pop some Great. bubbles and, um, okay. and move forward. You know, I mean, because I feel stagnant and the mud, the muck is holding my ankles right. down and I need to be able to walk freely so that the stupid leg doesn't hurt anymore. Good girl. And anti-inflammatories for two weeks and that didn't help at all. So boom. I'm right. Changing. I know how that goes. Well, again, it's not until we're almost at our breaking point. For me, that's when it happened. And when I finally put my foot down and said, that's it. Look, I'm showing up here for you guys, but I can't take the shower for you. No. Right. No. I can't do it. I can show you how, but I can't do it. Right. No. So no. that's the deal. I priority is, is taking half an hour and doing the meditation in the morning. I turned it on last night and psh, I don't remember shutting the computer down or anything. So I don't know. So See, that's, that's the problem. Yeah, gotta, laying down. You have to sit up. You have to yeah, give yourself that way 15 minutes. Away. Yeah. 15 minutes sitting up in a proper chair. Right. Okay. That's, yes. That's and Nicola, point. thank you for sharing that, uh, Marie Pierre. Nicola, when we first started, you were propped up in your easy chair quite a bit. Yes. Do you remember the difference or can you reflect on what's different since you stopped using your easy chair or are you still doing that? No, I, I did the sitting up the straight thing because if I have my legs up, I fall asleep every single time. Even, even if my back is erect and my feet are out, I go to sleep. So I have to have feet on the floor because I, um, I really took to heart what you said about being in my body, about that is the powerhouse of manifestation is being in my body. We are here to manifest and create in bodies. If we're not in the body, we're not creating, we're just living in bliss and whatever up there. So it's, it's, it's something we miss and something that I want. And so, uh, so now I, I realize the importance of my body, about being in my body, and that grounding is so important. And lately, I've been grounding everything around me. <laughs> so Fantastic. It's been helping me uh, actually um, feel more present, more during the day when all this crap is flying around, and you got to do this, and you got to clean up that, and you got to, you know. So all of that, I mean, more present to the moment. That's a great tip. In fact, Marie Pierre, you might try that grounding your kitchen. Perhaps Scott will actually yeah. clean up after himself. That's true. Ground your studio, your sewing room. Okay. Ground the house. You know, there could be some other, there is a lot of energies yes. that are built up. So yes, yes, we forget about some of these things. Yes, ground everything around you. And it's just a matter of in your mind, you can put it in a bubble or you can just imagine a giant grounding cord. The whole house is grounded. Mm -hmm. So try yeah. that. Because that good. sometimes we've got to clear the energy so that we can get to the practice. Right, but I, exactly. But I thought it's about. Oh, sorry. sorry. Go what ahead. I, what I thought about in grounding the house is the house has more has a lot of wood in it, and woods are trees. So I picture the wood becoming the tree oh. and grounding the roots, and then the roof is the flower, the flowers and the leaves and all of that and I do that with myself and I stand this tree all the way up to the heavens and and so I feel so much more connected when I visualize the tree fantastic I love yeah, that yeah. idea our house is wood too well and you know again it's just an imagination in our mind even though the material is wood but you could picture it like that 
it doesn't well, even mean... if you're in a trailer you can do it but I mean... right i <laughs> want to go back to the con the the, the, the men what you mentioned about having your feet on the floor when you're yes. practicing mm -hmm. so over the years of me doing my own training one technique i came across was for trans medium training when we're channeling or when we're connecting, going out of the body, you've heard of cryon or Ast yeah. uh, uh, Ashtar. They typically, well, they learn other techniques, but that's a very quick way is cross your legs and or lift them off the ground. And that is because your spirit leaves your body. So your, your actual conscious connection, your soul, it's not like it completely leaves because then you die, but or the appearance of death, but the body goes away. So that's what's happening. It's there's literal shift. And you can actually see them if you've watched a channeler, their face changes, yeah, because yeah. something else steps in. Mm -hmm. But they have to do something sometimes to tell the body, okay, or yeah, spirit and body, okay, I'm out. So yeah, it it's so easy to leave our body. That's what we do naturally. <laughs> that's yeah. not the problem it's the problem nobody's taught us how to stay present yeah right. thank you for that thank you it's a great tool All right. imagining our house and our our office and our kitchens and our bedroom if you have a problem sleeping around the bed in fact when you do that you'll probably wake up fresher and easier Especially if you ground yourself, I, I like to imagine from the top of my head to all my whole spine, the entire spine is grounded. You'll sleep more rested and you'll wake up easier. Yeah, so try that as a practice. Yeah, try that. And, and as a challenge, let's focus on how else we could use some of those tools throughout our day so yes they're guided meditations but yes. those tools in my life mastery training we actually learn you guys are doing the work we, we actually learn and apply them in different ways so like you said on your house imagine your house grounded but like when you're driving marie pierre and you're attracting all these crazy ass drivers these you know okay. rush on testosterone mm -hmm. ground them Instead of getting pissed at them and thinking they're assholes, why don't you just give them a grounding cord and watch and see what happens? So we get to play in the world using our tools. I remember one of my students, we were practicing with this all week. And she said, I was in the mall. Somebody was on their phone talking really, really loud. You know how annoying that is, right? And you're just like, oh, God, you know? <laughs> so what she did was she grounded them. And this person literally hung up the phone and turned around to see who was behind them. They literally could sense it. So I do that all the time to get people when I am going fast on the freeway and I want people to move over, I would ground them and I would explode roses around them and they would shift lanes. And literally it's like parting water. I just zip past them. Wow. So you can use the tools in different ways, but use them and observe but when you're angry or pissed or you have a judgment on it that's putting resistance up and it will keep coming back oh wow so it's the very thing that we resist will persist <laughs> <laughs> so be amused with the game because it's a game and the more we can lighten up and just let go of our need to be perfect or have it right and not be 